Hello, welcome to my channel, Bookish Books. If you're new here, welcome. If not, if you like this and want to see more bookish ideas and <laughs> videos, then subscribe. Today we are going to do another top five Tuesday. So I have five differences between the Ursatz Elevator book and the TV series. The Ursatz Elevator is the sixth book in the series of Unfortunate Events. So the first difference that I came across, or the first one that I want to share, is that in the book, each of the children had individualized rooms fit for their personalities when they got to um, Jerome. Jerome made them their rooms, designed their rooms for them, which was, like, was really special. And then in the TV series, they all shared the room. And then the second one that I want to talk about um, in the book, they're searching for Gunther in the apartment, and they're using breadcrumbs to mark, like, show the path that they went on. In the TV series, they're not looking for Gunther, they're looking for the quagmires, and they're, um, Violet's walking around putting X's with chalk on it. And Olaf erases them obviously. The next one, number 30, is when they go to search the elevator for the first time. Um, in the book, Violet uses ties, cords, and curtains to create a rope so that they can climb down. In the TV, they use they create a parachute or hot air balloon and that's how they get down. The fourth one that I want to talk about is how they get back up the elevator afterwards is sunny. Obviously this one makes sense logistically. In the book she uses her teeth. Logistically, in the TV series, that would be hard to capture or recreate. So in the TV series, she's just using her hands to climb the pipe or the shaft. The fifth one that, and last one that I want to talk about was who was bidding on the red herring. In the book, Mr. Poe is bidding on it and almost saves the Quagsmire. And in the TV series, Mr. Poe arrives too late to bid, and then I believe it's Jerome who was bidding. So, those are your five differences for today. Thanks for watching.